Good afternoon and welcome back to another episode of Let's Learn Circuits. So today I'm going to speak about a battery charger, a LiPo or Lion battery charging circuit that we use quite often in our designs. So I use this for our drones, for our coasters, anything where I need a battery and I want to charge it, I use this IC. So the IC I use is the MCB73831. If you've been finding our videos helpful, please hit this like button or subscribe button or just hit all of them, you know what to do. Uh, but if you want to learn more about battery chargers, this is the video for you. Uh, nice thing is I've actually made this PCB in real life. So after this video, just at the end, I will show you how it looks in real life and its workings. So just sit back and enjoy. So this is our circuit. The IC we used is MCP3703 by Microchip. So the purpose of this IC is to charge our battery. So it's got five different pins and I'll explain what each pin is. Uh, VDD, VSS is your supply and ground, like normal ICs. My supply is my VBUS because I'm going to charge it with the USB. If I want it, you can also charge it with any other 5 volt source, so it doesn't have to be a USB. I just find USB quite easy to use and convenient. Uh, the programming pin, pin 5, needs to be pulled down to ground for the re a resistor value between more more than 2k or 2k so 2k is the fastest charging setting you can have so you can change this resistor value to increase or decrease the speed of your charging i just like the 2k it charges the, the battery quite quickly and i have no problems with it so 2k is my choice so if you make it 3k it will just charge your battery slower the the tickle current into your battery is less and so yes that is 0.5 Pin 1 is just a status pin. It is connected to LED to your VBUS. This tells us when the battery is fully charged. So when the battery is fully charged, the LED goes off. So the status pin goes high because my VBUS is high. So to get a potential difference to get the LED on, my status has to be low. So when the battery is fully charged, my status will go high and the LED will go off to indicate it. This chip was also smart, so it will not charge your battery when it's fully charged because a LiPo battery you do not want to overcharge. Then I also have my decoupling capacitors like any IC for my VBUS, my VBAT. When we do the PCB design, we have to make sure that that's close to my ICs. And then pin 3 is just to my battery. That is the output of this IC that is going to charge your battery. Uh, and then we just got a resistor for the LED as to limit the current because you cannot have all your current go through the LED, you will blow it. So LED always has a resistor in series. Great, so once we're happy with the schematic, uh, we take it to our PCB. How we do that, tools, uptake PCB from schematic and you update it. So I've already done it. So as you can see, my input for my power will be a USB, a micro B USB. I just like USB, um, I've got many lying around so it's convenient. Like I said earlier, you can have this to any input, so 5 volts, uh, maybe a DC jack. You can maybe do a 12 volt to 5 volt DC jack converter and then 5 volts to this pin, to this IC. But USB is always convenient because that's how I charge it. I've got a connector for the battery just to plug my battery to charge. But you can also have pads or either SMD pads or through all pads where I can solder on a battery to charge, does not matter. And then here you can see I've got my decoupling capacitors close to my IC as you want. Uh, R2 is the charging current limiter, should I say, my 2K, as you can see here. And then I've got my resistance here as my LED. As always, I try to keep my schematic and my PCB the same, so keep components close to each other. This resistor belongs to this LED. And now we can just root. So there we go, just a quick route. Um, so I could have gone to a different layer. So I just tried to make everything in one layer, but this was a five minute routing just to show where it all connected. 
remember guys try to keep everything less than 90 degrees um, so like I said you can use the bottom layer I like to use gel PCV sometimes to populate for me and they only do one layer so sometimes I keep the layers on top great so now we have our let's just make it 3d our life of battery so here you see it and now we will see it in real life because like I said I did order it so let's have a look so here's the PCB we just made there you can see the IC the USB input charging the battery decoupling capacitors the 2k resistor to change the current of the charging and then our LED to show an indication if it's charged or fully charged with the 47 ohm resistor so as you can see it's quite small do you think that a small circuit like this can charge a battery like this and here you can see it's soldered uh, there we go so these are 1206 footprints if you want this board the Gerbers are available on PCB Way. Uh, just look at the link below just click on it and you can order directly from PCB Way, or just download the Gerbers as you please great so in the video we showed you guys how to make this and how to charge a battery and here you can see the two different ones if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe we're going to make many more videos like this trying to break down the circuits into smaller understandable pieces so yes that is a plan have a great day bye